I was sort of sitting there doing, I, 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 when I'm not, I'm, I'm a, I do this teaching thing. <sighs> so I was, uh, I was on the NUT coach from Brighton yesterday, and this morning I'm doing my preparation and uh, for tomorrow. Uh, and then the, the, my phone goes, and someone's, and it's, it's, it's text saying, um, it says, I'm in a greasy spoon nursing a hangover, and I've just looked at the news of the world, and you're on page nine. <laughs> So, so, so I sent Arv, the, my youngest son, well, he said well, he was quite keen to go uh, off to the news agents to get, oh, and I said, don't, don't let anybody see you, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> to get a copy of the news of the screws. And he brought it back, and sure enough, uh, on page nine, the bottom right hand corner of the photograph of loads and loads of, of thoroughly decent sort of trade unionists going, I'm a thoroughly decent person, I'm being paid peanuts, and you're taking my pension rights away. Fuck off! Um, <laughs> there's me. Actually, I was going, it's Bruce Kent. Hey, hello, Bruce. <laughs> hello. Because I was saying to my kids, it's Bruce Kent. They go, oh, fuck off, Dad, who's he? And, and then my sons, and it, oh, we were dead chuffed. And I thought it was even more remarkable to be in the news of the world because neither me, my sons, uh, Pete and Deb, who were behind us, or any of the other thousands of people behind us were wearing lingerie. <laughs> uh, but everybody else in the news of the world wears lingerie, apparently. Well, obviously, apart from the footballers, obviously. Uh, and I, so I, I thought, God, people actually pay money for this lingerie catalogue every Sunday. So this is a song for them. It was just another tabloid story. Boy meets girl. Girl gets legless, boy gets lucky, girl gets pregnant. What did you expect would happen? Tabloid tits and tabloid bums, tabloid lads and teenage bums, tabloid football heroes and their girlfriends who could shop for in Galat. Welcome to the land of the moron. Welcome to the land of the living brain dead. Welcome to the land of the moron. It's moron land. And no one ever wears a condom. Billy Shakespeare. Who the hell's he? Did he play for Spurs or Chelsea? Charlie Dickens, phone a friend. Oh, he's the bassist in Oasis. Mr. Kipling, he makes tea cakes. Jeffrey Archer, proper culture. Proper English, what we speak. What do you mean St. George was a Greek? Welcome to the land of the moron. Welcome to the land of the living brain dead. Welcome to the land of the moron. It's moron land. And everybody loves X Factor at the Battle of Trafalgar. Francis Drake was playing midfield. When he heard his birds expecting, he said, once more up the Kyber, we shall fight them on the beaches, half a league, half a Guinness, half a mullard on the bus, and that's how England won the world. Oh, shit. Welcome to the land of the moron. Welcome to the land of the living brain dead. Welcome to the land of the moron. It's moron land. More and more and more and more and more. Ah yes, it's more on land, more, more on pop, more on lager, more on pubs, more on burgers, more on clubs, more on Facebook, more on Twitter. This is why I had for breakfast. More on headlines, more on page three, more on music, more on TV, more on flags, on more on cars. Just how dumb do they think we are? Welcome to the land of the moron. Welcome to the land of the living brain dead. Land of the moron, it's more on land, more and more and more and more and more. I guess it's more on land, more and more and more and more and more. One of the one of the really good byproducts of uh, the Chilean miners being brought to the surface last year was the fact that the world's media for at least 24 hours presented working class people in a positive light, not as scroungers or, or people to be shot and things like that. And, but I kind of wondered, I wondered how it would be if it had been another group of workers trapped underground. So I phoned the ghost of Johnny Cash <laughs> and I said, Johnny, how would it have been if there had been a different group of workers trapped underground. Uh, could I write a song about it? And he goes, well, 
<laughs> gotta start off like this. Well, I like that, Johnny. Uh huh. Okay. So I did. I said, well, well, Johnny, yeah? Uh huh. W what do I do now, Johnny? He said, well, you give him a chorus. What sort of chorus? He goes, well, they're trapped underground, you fuck with. <laughs> she got like this. Deep down underground. Will they sing along, Johnny? Oh, yeah. They will. Gee, Johnny, you're right. Of course, I'm fucking right. <laughs> Deep down underground. Wow. Will they do harmonies by the third verse? Yeah. Deep down underground. It was just another day in the city. In a basement wine bar in Lombard Street. <laughs> Thirty-three thirsty bankers <laughs> sat down for a drink and to eat. <coughs> Up above them, the markets held steady. <laughs> Suddenly, there came that terrible sound. It was the sound of timber cracking. And those bankers was buried under crack. Deep down on the crack. Deep. Call went out, everyone responded. <laughs> Pensioners and orphans, too. Hoodies <laughs> and single parents, <laughs> they all did what they could do. You may say. You have but a little, but you just bring the little that you've got. You bring a brick or a lump of concrete, you make sure those bankers stay put. Deep down underground. You may say this song is hard hearted. You may say this song is kind of mean. But no more meaner, no more hard hearted than those bankers who picked us all clean. So here's salute. To the miners of Chile And his salute To the hearts of Camp Hope And as for All you bankers Well I'd surely like to see How you'd cope Working deep me stuck well deep down on the ground put those harmonies in deep down on the ground nice Don't mention the war, don't mention the war, whatever you do. Danny come from West Ham, 
And he'd been a dad for eight months Jimmy come from Birmingham and he was just 18 Billy come from Bromyard and the captain told the press He was a key part of a closely knit machine And the corporal from King's Lynn, well he was the perfect soldier And the rifleman from Yorkshire saw the lighter side of life and the private from the Welsh Guards had a tremendous sense of humour. The rifleman from Maidenhead was first in everything. And we're here. Because we're here. Because we're here. And we're here. Because we're here. Because we're here. On the northwest frontier. On the northwest frontier. But don't ask you, I'm the Taliban. Don't ask for reasons why. Don't ask about that oil pipeline, and we'll tell you no lies. Don't ask about that mess we left along the Basra Road. Or those military cemeteries of a hundred years ago Don't ask about those fifty bodies buried in one grave Because the papers print no photographs The papers list no names And they could not sort the limbs out So they buried them as one And you wonder why they hate you Well there's fifty reasons more And we're here Because we're here because we're here And we're here Because we're here Because we're On the Northwest Frontier On the Northwest Frontier Yeah, but we'll all be home by Christmas in a land that's fit for heroes and we'll all get beer and medals and we'll all get jobs for life so next time you see your colonel you can sell him a big issue and he'll take you home for Christmas and he'll let you shag his wife and Tommy come from West Ham or maybe it was Glasgow or Tommy come from Birmingham and he was just 18 from Bromyard, maybe somewhere else, but it's somewhere that he'll never see again. And we're here, because we're here, because we're here, because we're here, and we're here, because we're here, because we're here. Because we're here. On the Northwest Frontier On the Northwest Frontier Tommy come from West Ham Tommy come from Birmingham What business did they have being here? What business did they have Dying here. What business do we have killing here on the Northwest Frontier? Here's a little true story. I just when I got two sons when my eldest Harry was doing part-time community service in nursery. <laughs> Me and Arv, we'd, we'd leave him there in the morning and he's looking at us over his great big pile of bricks and sand he'd have to shift so he'd get his physical boxes ticked. And we say, don't worry, we, we, we never leave a comrade behind. We're coming back at 11.30 for an afternoon's class, consciousness raising activities, a surrealist art workshop with the paint pots, or possibly watching a normal wisdom film in solidarity with our Albanian comrades. And he'd that cheer him up no end. That, and, and anyway, I say to Arv, Arv, what do you want to do? And Arv said, trains, Daddy, and we go and have an adventure. 
But one day, to cut a very long, boring story short, we have this adventure on Richmond Railway Station. And as we arrived at Richmond Railway Station, there was this woman wearing a lampshade on her head. <laughs> we thought, oh, that's funny, look. There's a woman wearing a lampshade on her head. By the time we came back, the whole concourse, if one could use that term about Richmond Railway Station, the whole concourse was mobbed by the bugger, just like Stalin's. Stalin, no, Stalin, sorry. <laughs> She's about the beard, yeah, okay, no. Starlings, anyway. Women, lampshades, heads. We realise why, because it's Ladies' Day at Ascot. <laughs> Look at all the posh hats standing on the platform. This is true, this story. Waiting for a train to come from Clapham Junction and whisk the wolf to Ascot so they can have a little flutter with their moss bros men. But Brenda said, hey, RM2 and a orange safety jacket. And she knows it's time to blow the whistle and shout, stand clear. Here comes the train for Ascot. Five minutes late, complained the posh hats. They climb aboard the first class. As fast as high heels will allow To stand a final posh hat In matching pastel lilac Comes trotting down the stairs As fast as her high heels will allow But Brenda's in a RMT And a pair of tatty trainers But she knows It's time to blow the whistle And shout Stand clear! Ignoring Brenda, right, posh hat trots on across the platform. Mistake. <laughs> Brenda squares her shoulders and shouts, I said, stand clear! You! <laughs> this is not a voice you argue with. The universe itself stops dead. So Brenda slowly nods her head. And the train rolls clear Cos Brenda's in a RMT And a red shirt from the co-op And she knows It's time to blow the whistle And shout Stand clear Rex Harris and eat your heart out <laughs> Our train arrives a minute later We wave bye-bye to Posh Hat Brenda now wears the grim smile of a job well done. <laughs> it's ladies' day at Ascot, but the trains keep rolling. Toffs nil. Workers one. Toffs nil. Workers one. Toffs nil. Workers one. Last time, Toffs nil. Workers won. Brenda! <laughs> you almost think this is thematically linked, wouldn't you? Charlie, the drummer in our band, said, Rob, Rob, the people want a, want a song to express how pissed off they are. And I said, are you sure? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll just go mega. I went, you're not, you're not saying it. He said, yeah, yeah, do it. So I did it. And uh, I think we've got about a thousand views on YouTube so far. Well, that's pretty good for me. Well, it's up in the morning, get your boots on. You only start to wake up once the kettle switched on. Doesn't much matter which winner won. You vote Tweedledee, you get Tweedledum. So you and your toffs, you can nap off back to Eton. Here's the score win, lose, or draw. We're always unbeaten. Well, 
Let's a mug full of tea and two slices of bread. You got hearts to be mended and mouths to be fed. With the hammer and the nails, with the needle and the thread. You couldn't find your own elbow with an A to Z. So you and your tops. You can nap off back to eat them. Here's the score. We're always unbeaten Unbeaten Why well, are top hats and tea rooms and bunting and swans? You're a quaint little tourist trap long dead and gone And you're more of the same, I won't change what's gone wrong the motorway slow carries on ha, 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 ha. you and your tops you can nap off back to eat and here's the score win lose or draw what are we we're always unbeaten unbeaten well your team plays rubbish from time to time your leaders let you down time after time after time after time after time after time But your team's your team and when Saturday comes Well it's people like us that get the job done So you and your tops You can nap off back to eat and here's the score Win, lose or draw We're always unbeaten I'm beaten. I'm beaten. Last time. I'm beaten. Lovely. going soon so it's the last one thank you so much for being so so, so lively well, it's just like being in a folk club only with brains <laughs> um, yeah those kids won't teach themselves tomorrow well they will actually I don't have anything to do with it yeah well, it's nice to see you take care see you further down the great revolution well, we all rehoused the homeless in Buckingham Palace. Start at the bottom, work down to the top. Stop the city, rebuild the forest, cancel the rain. Nick all the cops, be reasonable, and demand the impossible now. Yeah, be reasonable, and demand the impossible now. We'll turn all the motorways into canals Close all the older masters down All differences equal Systems for people Not the other way around Yeah, be reasonable And demand the impossible now Yeah, be reasonable And demand the impossible now We'll spring a all the animals, vote for the clowns in the circus, bourgeoisie. Where the rich sing the blues till their trousers fall down, then they give you the price of a nice cup of tea. Be reasonable and demand the impossible now. Yeah, be reasonable and demand the impossible now. Gardens and hospitals, playgrounds and schools, like sunflowers on every street. You do what you like, because you like what you do, and we'll stop the war once and for all. Be reasonable and demand the impossible now. Yeah, be reasonable and demand the impossible.
fool now. No master, no landlord, no flag, no guru, no gallant and no commissar. Just justice and poetry, jam on it too. When they ask who's in charge here, we all say we are the reasonable and demand the impossible now. Yeah, be reasonable and demand the impossible now. That's so how you think, yeah, actually, I am in charge of my own destiny. I am an autonomous zone. They don't think so, they don't know it, but I am. I wish I'd joined in saying I'm in charge there. Bugger me, I hope we'll sing that verse again. No master, no landlord, no flag, no guru, no gallite and no commissar. Just justice and poetry, and jam on it too. And when they ask who's in charge here, we all say, We are! In reasonable, demand the impossible now. Be reasonable and demand the impossible now. Whoa, be reasonable. Be reasonable. Be reasonable and demand the impossible. And demand the impossible. Johnson!